I, th- I think games these, these days and to a degree always have been basically a commodity. So like, like now more so than ever, people will float from one game to the next. They'll 43 point odd billion dollars worth of commodity. Yeah. They'll, they'll dislike one game just because it's slightly different than the next one. That's 99.9% the same because they changed one thing, even though it's the same game. It's like, infinitely derivative it's almost like a drug or something it's almost like somebody needs a hit of something where am i going to get it a million well, choices what, what what flavor do i want my hit this time and they yeah, just and move on they don't put the box on their shelf they don't love it it's not a piece of art it means nothing it's a fad and it goes from one to the next all equally derivative and that's what it's like now i think well but we could almost say twas ever thus, right? Yes, I mean, let's go it, it back was, to the let's go back I mean, to UO. Right? Exactly. You know, it just let's go back on. to the UO example. You know, <clears throat> why was UO gaining players as rapidly as it was losing them? Because it was the only game in town. Then EverQuest comes along. Suddenly, it's not the only game in town. But I do want to point out and, something about. Or go ahead. I'm sorry. sorry. I just wanted to touch on you know like one other thing, right? Like Apex Legends, right? Apex Legends has had explosive player base growth, 10 million players in three days. On the surface, it's another battle royale, Fortnite, PUBG, um, you know, pick your poison. Um, It's, in many respects, another game very alike to those. Team-based, squad-based shooter. But it brings with it a particular innovation that helps reduce the experience of toxicity as players play the game. And you're right. On the one hand, it's a simple innovation and so elegantly implemented. And on another hand, it's not much of a differentiator. But clearly, it's a hell of a differentiator even so. You know, I mean... You, you you made the comment about like how multiplayer is kind of like, um, you know, Darwinian evolution. Well, gee, you know, um, what's the genetic similarity between human beings and chimpanzees? Well, no, that small difference yeah. is a huge hell of a difference. 